should pull over and ask directions, huh? I don't even know what side of the map we on, man. We in trouble. So I'm sorry to bother you, but, um, could you just tell us where we are? Thank you. This place is weird, man. It's spooky. Well, it ain't Hoboken. You know what I do with the crooked eyes? Yeah. Probably out there right now, handsome tree sharpening up his axe. Yeah, or, uh, gassing up his chainsaw. Shit, Bobby! <laughs> Man, why are we talking about this guy? <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, 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 oh. You know, there's nobody out there. Look, let's just get some sleep. Find our way out of here in the morning. Ryan, Captain Chainsaw does come at us tonight. Just give him some of your moves, you know? Good night. over and ask directions, huh? I don't even know what side of the map we on, man. We in trouble.
Hi, so I'm sorry to bother you, but, um, could you just tell us where we are? Thank you. This place is weird, man. It's spooky. Well, it ain't Hoboken. You know what I do with the crooked eyes? Yeah. Probably out there right now, and some tree sharper enough as axe. Yeah, or, uh, gassing up his chainsaw. <laughs> Man, why are we talking about this guy? <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Thought you know there's nobody out there. Look, let's just get some sleep. Find our way out of here in the morning. And Ryan? Oh. Captain Chainsaw does come at us tonight. Just give him some of your moves, you know? What up? <laughs> Good night. Your idea be your idea. Well, we need to find a place for food, man. We need to find a place now. Yeah, no doubt. And people that don't chew tobacco. <laughs> Big long spit drooling down oh, your chin. Right, Look, man. Nasty. Oh, wait a minute, man. Let's go to California. That way. Ludiger's Hardware. Ludiger's Gun Shop. Yeah, this guy Ludiger's doing all right for himself. Let's try his diner. Yeah, good idea. Making a strict policy never to play too much music when I'm sneaking up on people. You call that music? You call that singing? <laughs> Can I take your order? Oh, wait a minute. I think you got a good place. We got hot cakes, French toast, and eggs, any style. Any of the above served with bacon, ham, sausage, home fries, or grits. We got a special that's a stack of wheats, two eggs, two sausages, or two strips of bacon. And for toast, you got your choice of white, rye, or whole wheat. Hey. Beverages include coffee, tea, milk, Pepsi, and three kinds of beer, if you're old enough, which I doubt. For dessert. Excuse me. Here's something you like? I was serious when I said I thought you had a good voice. And how do you know? What, are you kidding me? We're musicians. Really? Yeah, I'm not. He's got that earring and those hairdos for effect. You don't recognize us? Ryan Cassidy and THE Bobby Kale? It's a small town. We had the hottest band in Hoboken. A what? Hoboken. 
What's your name? Lacey. Lacey. That's a beautiful name. Uh, anyway, we're on our way to California and we will be famous. You're not famous? Uh, not yet. Soon. What's your order? Really going to California? Yep. I bet it's nice there. Well, here, have a seat. I'll tell you all about it. Come on. California is nothing but palm trees and beaches. The beaches are all white sand and the water's so blue. It hurts your eyes just to look at it. Uh, they also have record companies here, remember? Record companies? That uh, yeah, record companies. Lord, I wish I was going. Oh, come on. I bet there's a million things to do in Ludiger on a Friday night, huh? Yeah, and there's a dance tonight over at the community center. It's a big event of winter. Wow. I guess it's time to hit the road. Oh, wait a minute. What? Where did you say this dance was? Uh, Ryan, she's probably already got a date. No, I haven't. Oh, man. Bobby, it'll be fun. Ryan, this girl does not sound like fun. Probably this girl doesn't even date. Look, we'll be right after the dance. Scout's honor. <sighs> I'll take you out, man. Doubtful. Look, is this like, um, one of these love at first sight kind of deals? Well, I don't know. I think she's... What? What? No, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, man. What's the deal? Hey! Hey, man! What are you doing? You lose something in there? Is this your truck? No, this is my truck. What's wrong? What's your business here in Lettinger? We just having breakfast, officer. You, um, you got some special reason to be messing around with our stuff? Yeah. Out of state tags. Car could be stolen for all I know. Let me see some ID. Sure. Boys, enjoy your breakfast. I've had better. Tell you what. Why don't you and uh, your earring and little buddy here hop in this truck and just take yourselves on back to New Jersey? I'll tell you what. I don't think we're breaking any laws or nothing here, so uh, why don't you just go hide behind a billboard or something, huh? What's the problem, Walt? Morning, Alger. None of your business. Two punks were just leaving town. They better be. Shouldn't have riled that feller. That's Walt Ludiger. Yeah, well, what's the story with these Ludigers anyway? Mom and Pop Ludiger own everything in this town that's worth owning. In other words, they run the whole place. If I was you boys, I'd make tracks. I'd put as much distance between me and Trapper County as I could, fast as I could. In fact, I wouldn't let any grass grow under me. Thanks a lot, big fella. So old Norval busted right into Tom's house with that double barrel shotgun looking for his missing chickens. And Tom was standing on the sofa in the middle of the room, feathers all over him, trying to get them chickens down off the curtain rod. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was laughing so hard I lost my breath. Come on in, Alger. Good morning, George. And Sheriff, you'll be glad to know that the old Deputy Walt's on the job. Wrapped him a couple of kids from our state this morning and sent them back. That's mighty fine, Alger. That means we can all sleep a little easier tonight. Yeah, you got that right. Now, let's see, where was I? Uh, so, as I was saying, that old Tom caught red-handed with them chickens. What do you think he said? I don't know, George. What did he say? Well, he looked at old Norval and said, Damn you, Norval, you can't keep these chickens in your own yard. You're going to be facing a lawsuit. I'm telling you, I never saw anything like it. That's a stitch, all right, George. 
Julia Stitch. You know, it would have been a whole lot funnier, though, if Norval hadn't uh, blown Tom in half with that 12 gauge. Oh, boy, you got that right. I was standing right next to old Tom when he cut loose with that shotgun. You talk about a mess. Oh, there were pieces of time all over the place. I mean, all over the curtains, on the furniture, everywhere. Why, well, there was even a chunk of something floating in the fish tank. You know, that sheriff's a strange dude. Nice fella and all, but uh, he ain't got no sense of humor at all. Been living long too long for what I think. Happy anniversary, babe. City. This is that job. Well, the state police is waiting anytime you want it. Well, that's fine. Ooh. There's a uh, there's a new picture playing at the lyric. So maybe I might. I don't think up. so, Sam. Why not? Damn it! I don't want to. I don't want to still be getting picked up to go to the picture show when I'm 80 years old. I don't think this is the time. I waited for you a long time. I don't know what brought all this on, but I, uh, I thought we had a pretty good thing going. Pretty good? It just ain't good enough anymore. What about you? Don't you want to go someplace? Be someplace where you can do your job without having to answer those damn ludicrous every time you turn around? I'll tell you something, darling. It don't matter where I go, there's going to be politics. Sam. Eight o'clock. You sure you want to do this? Yes. Definitely. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely positive. Well, I guess we have to do it. Hey, what? You know how to score dance? No. Yeah, me either. Like, uh, uh, swing your partner by the hair. Yeah, 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 I think it works better if you got rotten teeth. Um, billboard. 
thought I said I didn't want to see you around here anymore. I don't think the lady appreciates your attention. No, it's all right. He was only fooling around. No, Lacey, I don't think I'm going to enjoy this dance too much. Let me say we go for a drive. Hey, I'm talking to you. Yo, Tex. Why don't you take a hike? No! No! Think! You're... What's going on here? Nothing. Just these, uh... Two city boys are just causing a little trouble, that's all. Come on, now, well, why not just um, shake hands? Forget about it. Lacey? You going with them? I said, are you going with them? Fine, fine, you just go head on. You just go right ahead. You just remember, you got to come home sometime, huh? I'm not through with you yet. Um, uh, I don't recall seeing you boys before. No, sir. I'm just passing through. Uh, uh, you enjoy yourselves while you're here. <laughs> but stay away from Walt. He's not a bad fellow, but can be mean as a snake. I don't know if I should. Hey, come on, give us a tour of the town. All right. Yeah, I'm happy. Leave him alone, Walt! You gonna let your girlfriend fight for you? Bobby, Lacey, come on, let's go. What's it take to get you to fight, huh? Some kind of girl? Kick his ass, Ryan. You know from your mama? Stupid, are you? Are you? Let's go. You okay? Go on. Leave me alone. Lacey, I hope that we didn't get you into any trouble. I've been waiting a long time for someone to do that to Walt. He's Walt will your brother. <laughs> God, no. Lettigers took us in my folks got killed, that's all. Me and my brother Elmore. That must have been awful. I knew losing your parents. It was. Why did the Lettigers take you? My folks used to work for them. We didn't have any other kin. Yeah. Guess it was lucky I had someone, right? I thought so too at the time. Turns out we're nothing but free labor. No, come on, they can't be all bad. No? Mom's crazy and Pop's drunk all the time. Walt. Yeah. Yeah, I know about Walt. 
No, you don't either. You don't know the half. He... He what? What? Skip it. No, come on, tell me, Lacey, he what? He snuck in my room one time. And he tried to make me... Jesus. Tell his parents. Oh, man, you don't know what these people are like. Walt's their golden boy. But that... I'm telling you, they don't care. I think Mom's some kind of pervert herself. You should see the way she looks at me sometimes. Lacey. You've got to get out of here. I've thought about it lots of times. I've thought about just running away. But I can't leave Elmore. How old is he? <laughs> He's 19. And he can take care of himself. Come to California with us. I'm serious. Oh, God. I can't. Lacey, I'm not just going to leave you here. Just do it. Take a chance. You really mean it? Yeah, I really mean it. We'll get out of here now, tonight. <laughs> I'd have to pack some things. Okay. Come on. Ren, I'm scared. Come here, you. you. See? See what your friends did to my boy? He asked for it. He started it. Don't you never take a stranger's part against your own people? You're not my people. No, ah! no I don't. Shut up, you little weasel. You're a two of a kind, damn me, and Grace neither one of you's worth it. Go on, get out of my sight! Ain't you gonna eat nothing, son? No, I can't, Mama. Gotta get to town for traffic from that dance hits. Save me some, okay? Okay. Be careful. I will.
How do we get out of here? Back the way we came. Through Ludiger. It's the only way out. This just gets better and better. Hear that? Come on, Ryan, stand on it, man. Damn it, Walt, you want me to drive? You want to catch before they get across the county line, don't you? We ain't gonna catch nobody if you end up in a ditch. Come on, man. Charging you boys with reckless driving, resisting arrest. Sam, no! Charge is kidnapping. Lacey there doesn't turn 18 for another month. Come on, man, you gotta be kidding. She wanted to go. Yeah? Well, that ain't the way she's gonna say it in court. Lacey back in this car. I'll meet you at the station. Now. What are you going to do to them? Shut up. Running off, huh? Mom ought to get a real big kick out of that. Mm -mm -mm. Jesus. <laughs> Damn, Lacey. You know what? Looks like I finally got you right where I want you. None of that. Don't! You don't want nothing to happen to that little boyfriend of yours now, do you? this later. You just count on it.
was your damn sister who started all this. But they're flirting and carrying on like a common whore. My sister's not a whore. Of course she's not, Elmore. It's the Ludigers that keep this town a fit place to bring up a young girl. Then long come these outsiders. It's them that made Lacey act like that. Now we mean to discourage them. You stand with us or I can't be responsible for what happens to that precious sister of yours. Man, I don't believe this. I really don't believe this. We don't get a phone call. We got nothing to eat. We got nothing, man. This is what we got. We got a tin cup. Oh, man, and once he says to me, jails is like country clubs. Yeah, I'm right. Bobby, I know we got problems. Oh, no kidding, Ryan? Ryan, nobody even knows where we are. We don't know where we are. It's your boy's lucky day. We're gonna turn you loose. I need to tweak my harmonica. You all right? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, man? We came in this way. Your car's out here. Door-to-door hmm. -door service. Right. Thanks a lot. Okay, where's the truck? I don't know. Man, that's him. Oh, shit. Ah, I'm gonna blow your head off! Turn around! Turn around! Okay, for the truck! Move it! Go on! I'm gonna get the back of the truck and lay face down! Get it! Not now. You think we're just a bunch of dumb hicks, don't you, boy? Hmm. We ain't dumb. We got ourselves a nice town here, built it ourselves. And we don't want no city boys coming in here abusing our young girls. Okay, you made your point. Shut up! I'm talking to you. Got yourself a mom somewhere. She's real proud of you and this ear <laughs> ring. Oh! Ryan! <laughs> Shoot you, I swear, Will. <laughs> Bring me that sledgehammer out of the truck. Walt tells me you're some kind of jujitsu 
expert. When I get through with you, you won't even be able to feed yourself. Prop him up. Hold him steady. <laughs> came this way. Why don't we look over this way? Wait a minute. What are we roaming around in the dark for? We'll just wait till it gets light and come back. What if we don't find him then? He's smack in the middle of the county. Even if he knew where he was going, it'd take him a week to walk out. We'll find him, don't you worry. I'll get him. I'll get him. You just call me. You move the bodies, you trample all over the evidence. Sam, we was shook up. He wasn't thinking straight. And you think these kids did it? The kid's body was right there next to Elmore's. How'd you find out all this? When Elmore didn't come home last night, we went looking for him. We found his car with a flat tire. Then we seen the boy's truck stuck in the mud. Elmore must have been walking along. And they picked him up. And they just decided to kill him. Why would they do a thing like that? Probably all doped up. That's what I think. Not that simple. For one thing, where did these kids get a gun? Another thing, when you brought the truck in last night, didn't you check it out? Could have been hid behind the scene. I didn't look there. Now you listen to me. I'm tired of all these damn questions. Him was like a son to me. And I mean, find his killer. With or without your help. Take it easy. Now let me tell you something. I'll organize a search party. And we'll find this kid. Because I'd like some answers too.
Is that phone here? If it had teeth, it'd bite you. Operator? Yeah, that lets me a collect call. It's in New Jersey. Here code is 215555247. Ryan Cassidy. I'm calling from 555-6122. Hurry. Hello? Hello? I just tried to make a long distance call and the phone went dead. Long distance, huh? You probably talk to Annie. She's the operator. You get your party on the line and call you back. Come on in and set a spell. Thanks. Nasty things, ain't they? All slimy. That's why I hate them. Won't even touch them. Customers got to get them themselves. Heard a couple of kids killed the local boy last night. Really? Yeah. Terrible thing. Took him up along Sullivan's Creek, stove his head in with a rock. What? How long does it usually take to make a long distance connection? Don't know. Never made one myself. Reckon young Elmore put up quite a fight. Heard he killed one of them with a rifle. Else they killed Elmore and then one of them killed the other. No telling, really. Bunch of us was supposed to go hunting for this kid. I got a mind to store. Where do you suppose they look? Ever get around to introducing myself? Ludiger. Billy Ludiger. Now, why don't you sit down and relax? Dumb son of a bitch. Hit it right up Wolf Mountain. That's Jefferson territory. Yeah, yeah. Might not have to even fool with him at all.
on my mountain. All right, let's take it from the top. Now, what are you doing on my mountain? Running. From what? The Ludigers. Oh, you got with the Ludicus. They say I kidnapped their daughter. I didn't. They killed my friend. Hey, where are you going? I'm going that way. You, you going that way. What's that way? Away from me. You got troubles with the Ludigas. They're going to find you. And when they do, I don't want you nowhere near me. Did you hear what I just told you? They killed my friend. You fight your own wars, kid. And Sheriff Frost just seems to be dragging his feet. So that's the way things stand. Mm -hmm. You boys is here because we know we can count on you to do things our way. What about the sheriff? You know, problem with Sam Frost is he, he just takes himself too dead burn serious. Yeah, Stay we right. shouldn't have no problem getting around Frost. Well, with you being deputy and all? Frost ain't stupid, Uncle Billy. Yeah, but what, what if it gets to the kid before we do? Yeah, yeah. Well, the way I see it, we just make sure that don't happen. <laughs> Sheriff ain't gonna get no story I no dead man. <laughs> I want you to yeah. spread the word among the folks that we can trust that the Ludigers is gonna make it worthwhile to help. Mm -hmm. This kid is a dangerous killer. <laughs> a lot of folks want to join us. Be right. an adventure for him. <laughs> and remember, as far as your Frost is concerned, we ain't going up against him. Let's go around him. <laughs> Did you want a piece of this? I see, honey. Brought you dessert. Leave me alone. It's your favorite. Oh, come on, honey. I know you're mad at me. And I don't blame you. Admit I was wrong. Oh. You got the most beautiful hair. Understand why that Cassidy boy fell for you. No, it really wasn't Ryan to blame for Elmore. It's that other one, and he already paid for it. Then you let Ryan go? I believe we could do that. If what? Just be willing to testify that she was there the night Elmore got killed. Ryan and Bobby didn't kill him, did they? What are you talking about? 
You killed Elmore. I don't know how, but you did. I hope they hang you all. You know what you just done? You just signed your boyfriend's death warrant. <laughs> All right, all right. Listen up. We're going into two groups. Walter, take his group up along the creek. I'll take my men up along the falls, and we'll try to hem him in. Now, we got some clothes from the Cassidy kids' car for Baker's hounds to get a scent of. That's another thing. Baker and his dogs will be out front, so I don't want anybody to get trigger happy. Yeah, boys, you can shoot that Baker, but for God's sake, don't shoot his dogs. <laughs> All right. Now, we got reason to believe this kid is armed. I don't want any heroics. But I also don't want him shot on sight, either. All right, let's move.
There ain't even a cockroach alive in there. Time we go all the way around, that light will be gone. Let's head back. Start up again tomorrow. First light. Hey, boys. Let's pick it up again tomorrow. I don't mind telling you I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like folk creeping around my hooch. Come on down. Now. How'd you know I was up there? You never even turned around. I hear your teeth chattering a mile away. What do you want? I'm hungry. Well, you're gonna be a pain in the butt, kid. Well, gonna eat with me. You get yourself cleaned up. Cassidy. I'm Jefferson. What made you change your mind? Let's get something straight, kid. I ain't changed nothing. I'm just feeding you, that's all. You know, it's funny. You don't seem like the type of guy to be scared of anybody. Maybe you like living up here all by yourself in the woods. Or... Maybe Lettiger's got something on you. None of my business. They sure do get their way, though, don't they? Down there, I mean. I guess they don't bother you much up here. You don't know about me and Lettiger's. I tell you. My mom and daddy worked Lettiger's land a whole life. They own everything. We had nothing. Folks was older than them. But my daddy was boy to them, same as me. The time I was your age, out of high school, I was tired of it. So I got the hell out. Joined the Marines, went to Vietnam. I ain't even tried. 
Tell you what it was like over there. I seen and done shit you wouldn't even believe. Come back home. Goddamn war hero. Silver star, bronze, two purple hearts. First day back, I'm running a letter because on Main Street. You know what they said? Welcome home. We real proud of you, boy. I don't need that shit, Cassidy. I don't need it from them. I don't need it from nobody. Maybe you should have told them that. I think I was scared to tell them. Hell, I just spent 20 months killing people. I, I wasn't scared of nobody. Nobody. It's just... I, I had seen the world. And, and then I come home and... Nothing's changed. I mean, the letter gets a steel right in a little county like they always did. I'm sick of it. Well, so you came up here? Yeah. And I like it. I like it just fine. Yeah, sure you do. Hey, don't get into no stuff with me. The Ludigers are still running the county, Jefferson. They're going to keep doing any damn thing they want until somebody stands up to them. Yeah, well, it's not my problem. I think it is your problem. Shut up. And that's why you're so angry, isn't it? That's it, shut up. Because you know you should have spit in their face when you had the chance, and you never did. You never did. Hell ain't eating, huh? Pining away for your city boy. It's time tomorrow. <laughs> He'll be dead. Don't look neighborly to me. Sorry. Well, that's a real nice place you got here, Jeff. I ain't sure what you want. We uh, got this kid running around up here on Wolf Mountain. We killed Delmore. We figured maybe you'd help us find him. We need my help for. You know the country. Look, all you gotta do is just uh, catch hold of him. We'll take care of the rest of it. Rest of what? Why don't you just leave that up to us, Jefferson? Seems how it is. None of your goddamn business. Hearing me? He just fine. Oh, that's good, Jefferson. That is real good. Now I told you what we wanted, and you are going to help us. Or hell, we're just going to have to run your ass right off this mountain, huh? <laughs> hell, we're just going to run you right out of the county. You hear that, Cassidy? This redneck fool wants me to help him find you. Oh, I heard. What the hell's going on, Jefferson? I'll tell you what it is. You're coming to my home with rifles? Tell me what I gotta do, you're gonna run me off. That's what you said, ain't it? Well, it? Uh, yeah. it was just a manner of speaking. Yeah. Well, let me tell you how it is. I don't like threats. And God help anybody come up here trying to run me off this mountain. This gonna mean war. I'm talking widespread death and destruction. You hearing me, redneck? Hear me? I hear you, I hear you. Good. You and your girlfriends, run your butts on back down off my mountain. Now! Now! What's 
next? <laughs> hey. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you got that. You know, when I moved up here, I promised myself I was never gonna let nobody move me out. Where'd you get all this stuff? I wrote to some buddies in Nam. Had them send me this stuff piece by piece. Please. Clear more minds. I promise him a war, Cassidy. And I always keep my promises. Yours? Uh, I want you and Alger to cover the road between here and Sutter's Fork. The uh, Swanger brothers covering the road up the other way. I reckon we just uh, supposed to what? Shoot them on sight? Yeah. Well, damn right. Yeah. Jefferson and that kid are armed and dangerous. Now get going. We got them sealed in tight as a drum, honey poo. <laughs> Sam. What the hell is going on here? Ain't you here, Sheriff? That Jefferson's throat in with the Cassidy kid. No, I ain't heard. In fact, there's been a lot of things going on around here lately. I ain't heard. Now, what's that supposed to? The situation's pretty damn simple. kid up there killed Elmore in cold blood. You don't know that for a fact. Elmore's dead and the kid's on the run. Them's all the facts I need. First thing in the morning, we're going up there and get him. Now, are you with us or not? Seems to me like you got the kid convicted already, you know? Ain't no help for me. All right, then. You go on back home and start writing your letter of resignation. We'll take care of this thing our own way. Yeah, go on, get. Save the rifles. Oh, those little pop guns ain't worth carrying. Let's get to huffing. Point look back now. Give me 
uncovering this up. Huh. Now, why did Jefferson do that? He's up to something, honey poo. All right. Let's keep moving. between you and the Ludigers. There's nothing holding you here now, Sam. I'm leaving. And I'm asking you straight out. Are you coming with me? Come in, please. Battery's about gone. I, uh... I found this down by Sullivan's Creek. I thought you might want it. the distance, aim, and let it go right here, right there. Okay. This is for close work. Hey, both hands, get them up. Yeah. Get the target on the sights. Human target, Jefferson. They killed your friend, Cassidy. They're gonna try and kill you. That's not gonna happen. They're acting like uh, they're up there. We ought to storm up the damn hill and get them. You could do that. But it looks like that's just what they want. And I ain't up here to give murderers what they want, not by a long shot. Play by my What are they waiting for? Damn it, if they're gonna come, why don't they come? They know we're here. They just don't know where exactly.
Jefferson, I got Lacey. We don't want no more trouble, son. And you don't want nothing to happen to little Lacey. Jefferson! What do we do? Little sister. What's wrong with you, man? Don't you trust my marksmanship, Cassidy? If that's the way you want it, that's the way it's gonna be. What is it, honey boo? Do it like I said. I've got to go down there, Jeff. Hey, come on. Cut you to pieces before you get five steps down that hill. Right there, Pop. Put the gun down. Rest of you, party's over. Go on home now. This ain't none of your affair, Sheriff. Damn it, Pop, shoot! Put it down, Pop, or I'll blow your ass to kingdom come. Damn it, Pop, shoot! Do, boy. Son! They said 
you killed Elmore. What? That crazy lady, she killed them both. Come on. And this little shit! So, Sheriff, what happens now? Well, first of all, I'm gonna clean up this mess. And then I've got someone special waiting for me in Capital City. Jefferson, how, how's your arm? Oh, I'm okay. It's fine. What are you gonna do now? Well, can't go home, that's for sure. Yeah. Ever been to California?
go on, get. <laughs> 